So today we're going to go over how to convert a simple product to a variable product. A variable product lets you have two product types for one product. First you need to log into your website and go down to products. Choose a product and here I have a sample product and click on edit. We scroll down and look at product data, we'll see that this is a simple product and we just want to change that to a variable product. You see this is changed here. We're going to go down to attributes and we have to add a custom attribute for this. So we're going to click on add. Give it a name, it can be anything. Now we need to give it two values. This is going to be what the user sees when they're choosing their product. So off market, and then we're going to put in this bar. This bar is below your backspace key and OEM. Make sure you check the box used for variations and then click save attributes. Next, go down to Variations and click on Add a Variation. So we're just going to click on Go. And it brings us our drop down box with our two options. So Off Market's one. And if we go over here, we see this little option here pops up Remove and these little lines and this tiny triangle. We're going to click on the triangle. We're going to go down here and we're going to type a price for our off-market option. So I'm just going to put in 100 as an example. You can add other information if it's on sale. For now, you can put in a sale price and then click Save. Now we're going to add one for our other, the OEM product. So click on Go again change this down to OEM and again come over here to the tiny triangle and put in our price for our OEM product so 150 and click save and that's all you have to do click update Now if we view our product, we'll see the user has an option to choose an off-market or an OEM. And right here, regular OEM, that's the name we gave it. We can give that anything we want. It can say choose the product you want. So if we come down to attributes, and we come over here to where our regular OEM is. We can change it. Choose. Let's choose an option. I'll save it. Update. If we go back into view product, it now says choose an option, 